going to take this time to read Genesis chapter 6, verses 11 to 22. In the name of the Father and Son and of the Holy Spirit. The earth also was corrupted before God, and the earth was filled with violence. So God looked upon the earth, and indeed it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted their way on the earth. And God said to Noah, The end of all flesh have come before me. For the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make yourself an ark of gopher wood. Make rooms in the ark and cover it inside and outside with pitch. And this is how you shall make it. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, its width 50 cubits, and its height 30 cubits. You shall make a window for the ark, and you shall finish it to finish it to a cubit from above, and to set the door of the ark in its side. You shall make it with lower, second, and three and third depth. And behold, I myself bring in flood waters on the earth to destroy from under heaven all flesh in which is the breath of life. Everything that is on the earth shall die, but I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall go into the ark, you, your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives with you. And of every living thing of all flesh, you shall bring two of every sort into the ark to keep them alive with you. They should be male and female, of the birds after their kind, of animals after their kind, and of every creeping thing of the earth after its kind. Two of every kind will come to you to keep them alive. And you shall take for yourself of all food that is eaten, and you shall gather it to yourself, and it shall be food for you and for them. Thus Noah did, according to all that God commanded him, so he did. Alright, so that is Genesis chapter 6, verses 11 to 22. Now, I encourage you guys to do the table talk topics with your family, go over some of the questions. There's one question and um, that I would like to go over. It's, how long do you, do you think it took Noah to build the garden? The Bible is not certain on how long it took him to build, but approximately 120 years passed from the time God first decided to destroy the earth and the day he told Noah to enter the ark. That is a long time to have that great faith. Imagine all Noah was going through, the thoughts that was going through his head, what people were saying about him. But he kept his faith in the Lord and he trusted him. All right, so now we're going to apply what we have learned today. So in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7, the Bible says, By faith, Noah, when warned about things not yet seen, in holy fear, built an ark to save his family. By his faith, he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness that comes by faith. It is not certain how long it took Noah to build. But we do know for sure that God did not unleash, unleash his wrath until the ark was completed. It would have been easy for Noah to give up. What a huge task he had at hand. But with faith and perseverance, he received what God had promised him. Us Christians, with real faith, we do not give up because something is hard or takes a long time. We need to persevere so that when we have done the will of God, we will receive what he has promised. You can find that in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 36. All right, so that's it for this time of devotional. We'll meet back for prayer. Mm -hmm.